All right, all right. Good to see you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Trey Mathis here from wirefarentrepreneur.com. Look, if this is your very first time landing on our page, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. We have some exciting news. If you haven't already checked out our complete playlist over on YouTube, please do so at the Wi-Fi Entrepreneur channel. We have some we have some material that I think is really transforming lives. And if you're watching this video, please leave in the comment section, you know, how these videos are treating you, what, what information you're receiving, how, how is it working for you guys, and so on and so forth. I know a lot of you are in our community, are in our online community. Uh, we have over a million online entrepreneurs in that community. People are asking questions there. People are getting their questions answered. But by all means, if you have any questions that I can answer for you, uh, directly, not only can you leave them in the, in the community, but you can also leave them in, in the comment section of this video as well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about in a very important part of your business, especially when it comes to growing an online business, and that is email, uh, what your email list, and more specifically. I would say your email list is more important than actually quote unquote email marketing. Uh, the reason why I say that is because of the fact that moving forward, you, you'll find that you're going to be putting a lot of effort into, you know, free ways of, of generating leads for your business. You're going to be thinking about maybe some paid uh, forms of advertising as well. You know, you have Facebook, you have Google, etc. But either way, one of the very important, one of the things that is going to be really important to you is making sure that you capture uh, the information of the people who have come across your brand, you know, whether or not it's, you know, doesn't matter where it's from, you're going to want to make sure that you capture that person's information so that you can maintain communications with them uh, moving forward. And without a shadow of a doubt, it, it's been around for years and it's probably not going anywhere. Email is the best option for accomplishing that mission. Now, uh, we're going to be talking about moving for moving forward how you can go about collecting emails, but more importantly, I want to be touching on, more importantly, I want to touch on right now the importance of having a good email list. Now, if you have an email list already, fantastic, but if you don't, if you have zero names on your list, look, we can start with zero and we can go up to thousands. Uh, I remember uh, launching one of my very first online businesses and me and my business partner, we were going out and we were marketing out to local, uh, local mom and pop stores, letting them know that, look, uh, we have this website in which we can highlight some of the things that you guys are doing here locally that people are not, are not seeing. You know, Amazon is taking over. Uh, we like Amazon. Uh, we talked about Amazon and how we can become uh, partners with Amazon. But, you know, for the local mom and pop realtor, uh, mom and pop uh, retail store or what have you, they're, they're, they're experiencing a number of challenges. Uh, Toys R Us just announced today that they're going to be uh, liquidating all of their U.S. stores. And that's mainly because online advertisers are seceding and, and people are not necessarily going into the big uh, Toys R Us uh, buildings anymore looking for those toys. Uh, but Needless to say, what we're gonna, what I told, what we told the people back in, in there was what we, we said. Look, we, we have, we can, we can help shine light on your business, and we can, you know, using some of the techniques that we'll be teaching you here on the Wi Fi Entrepreneur channel. Uh, we were confident that we could go out there and, and market uh, their brands to the local community. Uh, one of the things that we, didn't consider at the time was how strong our email list was. Uh, we had a number of new merchants jump on board and want to be a part of what we were doing. However, when it came to matching those merchants to customers, a lot of those customers would come to the site, check out what they were providing, and then leave the site. So they call that site abandonment, and without having had made an initial purchase. And, and that, we learned a very quick lesson there because not only were we spending money in advertising on Facebook and, and, and Google, but we were losing money because of the fact that we weren't having, we, we, we didn't have anything stick. None of the, 
none of the visitors that came to our site, we had a good conversion as far as people who bought instantly, but if you compare your conversion to people who buy instantly versus uh, people that you can have the natural ability to follow up with, you'll notice that you catch more of your conversion in your second and third follow-up attempt. I'm pretty sure you guys heard uh, the saying, you know, you have to see it seven times before it becomes familiar uh, when it comes to advertising. Well, that's essentially the same thing. You don't want to spend a lot of money in advertising to the same person seven times when you can advertise to them once and then just send natural communications or some updates on what you have going on and, and that be the additional exposures because uh, you'll find that when you direct them and direct the exposures, you can also direct the sale and the result of the sale as well. So having an email list is going to be extremely important. So in our next video, we're going to be talking about how you can get people to actually give you their email list. But uh, right now, what I want to make sure that we understand, one, is the importance of the email, of having an email list. And two, get you in a position where you can begin to start setting up your email list right now. Uh, meaning, you know, setting up an email address that you can start uh, sending from. Uh, setting a, up a, a, a email provider that will allow you to capture those leads into a database so that you can start setting up campaigns to follow up. And you may be familiar with some of the, the, the well-known ones, email providers like MailChimp or uh, AWeber or Drip. And I'm talking about uh, products like this. And you may not be familiar, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I put in the description box of this video information on how you can start with what one of my uh, top picks uh, and that would be either drip which is offered through a company called lead pages they partner with a company called lead pages which is what we're going to be talking about in our next video uh, lead pages is a very great tool for you to offer an incentive to capture a person leads uh, capture a person's information and turn that person into a lead. But more specifically, I like Drip because of how the integration between that option and this email Drip or this email list option come in and, and match together. But uh, I want to make sure I share another one that I really enjoy, and that's MailChimp as well. MailChimp is another great tool. I've used it for years. They have a really good free option for you where you can get started uh, with a list of, I believe, up to 2500 for absolutely free. So you can get started with that, set some things up, put some things in place so that you can begin to start capturing leads. By all means, you may have old customers already from a previous business that you fit you feel fit this business that you may want to add to that email list for this new business moving forward only thing i would caution you on is it's very important to to make sure that whomever you add to the email list is someone who has chosen to be on the email list i want to encourage you not to use any purchase list uh, mainly because of the fact that when you use purchase list, you run a chance of, of hitting people's spam boxes because someone else has purchased the same list. They're getting tired of being emailed. And once you start emailing to that list, you may jeopardize your brand and your, uh, your ISP or your, you know, uh, how you're sending emails from, etc. So I want to make sure that you start. You know, if you're starting with zero, it's okay. We'll turn that zero into a one, to a two, to a three, et cetera. So just be patient with yourself. Don't use any purchase email list. Click on the link below. Find you an email service provider that you feel comfortable with. Sign up today. In our next video, we're going to be talking about how you can start uh, t turning that into a working machine for you. So until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.